All week we've been talking about the famous Apollo 11 moon landing, which happened 50 years ago this week. They landed on July 20th, but they actually left the surface of Earth on the 16th. So that trip took about three days on Apollo 11. To get to other planets, Mercury took 147 days from Mariner 10, and Mariner 2 took 110 days to get to Venus, which is one of our closest planets. On the other side, Mars will take anywhere between about 150 to 300 days, with the Curiosity rover taking 253 days to get to the red planet. Saturn, our most famous ringed planet, that took anywhere between two to six or more years with Cassini traveling from 1997 to 2004. To get to Neptune, Voyager took 12 years to get to the farthest planet in the solar system. And I know Pluto's not technically a planet in the solar system, but I got to show it some love. New Horizons, a speedy spacecraft, took only nine and a half years to reach the dwarf planet of Pluto. But why the differences or variations in time? Many solar system maps that we've seen in school or are on the web aren't quite to scale and we we'll also have these different spacecraft that travel at different speeds and also we have to take into account that some of these travel times they were just flybys while others actually landed in the surface or were taken up in the orbit of the planet and some of them they had to go around one planet's orbit get slingshot to go back so it really depends on the trajectory and don't forget these planets are orbiting around the sun at different speeds and rates relative to where we are here in Earth. Earth, so we will have to change the trajectories of the spacecraft to get to the different planets. Now, if you have any questions about space, you can send them to me on social media, Facebook and Twitter. Just search Rochelle Peart, or you can find me on Instagram at Rochelle TV.